Hi everyone, welcome to Stay at Home Steam. Today we're going to be using these household items to create math games. To start, you're gonna to wanna to assemble all your materials. I'm gonna be using a muffin tin. However, if you don't have a muffin tin, something similar could be used, or you could also use a series of small bowls. Anything that you'd be able to toss a ball into. You'll also need a ball. It needs to be small enough to fit inside of whatever object you're using. And it can be extra fun if you have a ping pong ball handy or a ball that bounces. We are also using muffin liners. However, you can use any paper. And you'll also need a marker or a writing utensil. Your first step is to write math problems in the tins. You can adjust the problems based on whatever your child is learning at the time. For very young children, you could even just put numbers if they're working on letter recognition. Make a lot so that you can do multiple rounds and not have to pause and rewrite problems every single time. Once you're done writing your first set of math problems, go ahead and put them in the tin or the bowls if that's what you're using. And remember, you can also just write them on regular paper. It does not have to be muffin liners. There are a couple different ways that you can play with the muffin tin or bowl setup once you have it ready. You can either have the object of the game to be to clear the entire muffin tin or all of the bowls of their math facts, wiping the board. Or you could set a timer and have your child keep working until the timer runs out and then see how many problems they were able to complete in that amount of time. For that second one, it might work even better if you do have quite a backlog of math problems because then as they answer one, you can replace it with a new problem. Here's where the ball comes in. If you have a ping pong or another ball that bounces, I would strongly recommend doing this on the floor because the object is going to be to toss the ball or bounce it off the floor into one of the cups and then answer the math problem that is inside of that cup. So it could get a little bit hectic. All right, now take the ball and you'll answer the math problem. Five plus five equals? 10. Now if we're playing it the first way, I would take that cup out, put it aside, or piece of paper and put it aside, and then toss again, and keep on going until I cleared the entire board. However, if I was playing the second way, where you have it timed, you're trying to see how many facts you can get through at once, then I would replace the paper that I pulled out with a new paper and a new math fact, so they can try to do even more. If you're working on number recognition with younger children, you can also have them count out an object that corresponds to the number that you wrote. So they would have to look at the number, say the number out loud, and then count out whatever that number is. If the ball ends in an empty spot, they just get another toss. I hope you have fun and enjoy learning with Muffin Tin Math. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.